Last year our students got together and they wanted to do a fundraiser um, to showcase not only their talents but also give back to the community in which they go to school in. Um, so they came up with doing the TV version of CHOP. So we all brainstormed together, got together and did it year one and it was a huge success. Um, last year we raised over $500. All the money will stay right here in Northwest Pennsylvania, which is awesome. Um, and like I said, it not only showcases our students what they learn in the classroom, but they can apply not only the cooking, they're also fundraising today, they are event planning. We are incorporating four classes into this event today, so it's really as hands-on as we can get. Improvising is th thinking on my feet is really what's exciting about it, and um, that's the thing that I was most worried about coming into it, because I know, I know I can make food, but it's like, especially with ingredients that I don't know what they're going to be, it's like, oh boy. There's uh, quite a bit of strength in this program, actually. Um, it's when it's... Um, the professors really, really know what, they, what they're doing and they've been in the industry, which is really nice. Um, like the hotel industry and the event industry, like it's more than just food and beverage. Um, and we offer all that here, which is really nice. So if I ever feel like I have, if I ever feel like I want to, to change, um, I can, um, which is really nice to know. The winner of 2015 Chops with 75 out of 90 points is Tim Gilbert.